Hello everyone, this is Minoxen coming to you with my first high definition Heroes of New Earth commentary. Finally managed to overcome my hardware issues and get Fraps to uh, agree with my new hard drive. So uh, yeah, let's get it going, high definition. Okay, let's start off with the bands. First we had uh, Glacius get taken off there. Uh, Nymphora, of course, no big surprise. Um, as of version 1.0.9, <laughs> uh, they've actually nerfed Nymphora. They've uh, re-nerfed Devourer. They've nerfed um, Engineer. There's, uh, they even nerfed a Cursed, I believe, maybe? No, nah, that might have been the version prior. Um, but anyways, yeah, we've seen some nerfs on these heroes that are getting banned quite a bit here, but uh, Devourer not getting caught in the bans this time around. Let's go ahead and continue here. Uh, cursed was also banned. Forsaken, uh, always a good pick there, uh, so they wanted to get that out of the lineup. Uh, Fade was also banned. And Engineer... But they also managed to leave on there, of course, Kronos as a huge mega carry. So we'll see how that pans out. But let's go over the picks here. On the Legion side, with Meh leading the way, uh, we have Devourer, Witch Slayer, Pandemonium, Valkyrie, and Pharaoh. Uh, a very good team. They did pick up Valkyrie earlier in the picks and ended up swapping out there um, for uh, Pharaoh, I believe it was. Yeah. No, Witch Slayer, I believe. <laughs> I think Witch Slayer got swapped out for Valkyrie there. Uh, I'm trying to glance at my notes. Uh, the whole reason I skip all the way up to this part is so I save some time, but uh, I guess that's really showing me here. Uh, the Hellborn on that side, they uh, re initially picked uh, Dr. Repulsor as their um, first pick. Uh, they did get to pick first, and they picked Repuls Repulsor. I guess since Nymphora is no longer an option, uh, Repulsor ha still has that um, mobility that Nymphora has and that good... Uh, Pushing potential, mobility, uh, yada yada. It's just a very good hero so far and all of the replays that I've seen. Um, but they picked him up first, but they didn't help me sw swap out for Kronos up here. So Doctor's going to be playing on Kronos. Uh, then we have Plague Rider, Swift Blade, and Hellbringer. And Hellbringer there uh, bringing in the big AoE ultimate with that little mini stun on there. Or not mini stun, I guess it does last for a second or two. Um, but yeah, it's just looking at teams here. Let's go ahead and see. Um, huh. Looks like most of the disables are going to be landing on the Legion side, of course. Also, you have to take in players into account. And this is an auto balance match just chosen randomly from uh, May's catalog of replays. And uh, of course, May being on this team, I'm going to give him a little bit of the edge as far as that goes. But last time I casted a May game, uh, he ended up going down. So. We'll see if that becomes part of uh, what determines who wins this game or not. But uh, let's look at the. Yeah, I'm liking. I'm like it might be. I don't know. They got two really hard carries here. Um, I guess they got some good babysitters. We'll just have to see how it pans out here. Let's get this game started. I'm starting to blab. I've been waiting to get another uh, replay started here since I've gotten my hardware and everything figured out to where let's I can record get this high definition. So. I hope you all enjoy the higher quality. I know I do. It, it's pretty painful to have to watch even my own replays on YouTube. <laughs> so uh, that should be saying something. Of course, Pandemonium being on the Legion side uh, as well here. I'm always a big fan of uh, Pandemonium. I always play with him in 2v2. He's one of my friend's favorite characters to pick. Just all of those physical... He's all physical, so when he... Goes up against Swiftblade, uh, if they are ultimately going to have that battle in between Panda and Swiftblade, he can actually hit through all of the magic immunities of Swiftblade's Blade Frenzy. So, that will leave him. Uh, and of course, we're going to have a pause right here at the beginning of the game. Someone's apparently having some issue. So, that will pass, and we'll see if we can manage to fast forward through this guy. Okay, and we're back. Uh, went ahead and skipped through that pause there for you all so you didn't have to sit there and watch. Uh, looks like Pink and Brown here, Kronos and Hellbringer are going to come back into the woods. Uh, maybe going to... Do they have a ward to stop the creep pulling? They do have wards, so they could be going for a counter on the uh, creep pull on this camp here, so that way they can't get them out. Pandemonium and Witch Slayer, however, going to the rune. Maybe going to end up getting them on their backside. Uh, if both of them do spot each other. They're going to have a little bit of an initial exchange here. Kronos getting caught with the graveyard. Pandemonium is trying to run him down. Uh, they've got a little backup coming from the side. Dr. Pulsar coming in. Going to chase down Pandemonium here. I don't think they're probably going to be able to kill. No. Uh, they are going to take down Pandemonium. Oh. 
that extra little bit of damage coming in from Dr. Repulsor there. Good movement from the teams there. They did get the... Um, Oh, nice ward placement on that, too. They can't see the ward there, but it is close enough that it will um, keep this creep camp from spawning. And uh, the little initial, who ended up getting the kill on that one? Uh, Hellbringer got the kill. It would have been nice for Kronos to have gotten that, just get that initial a uh, little bit more gold, since he is going to be their primary hard carry, I would guess, unless they uh, lean on Swift Blade. Uh, Swift Blade is up here on top, getting babysat by Plague Rider. And of course, Hellbringer is babysitting Kronos. Who do we have going on middle? Uh, we have Meh with Devourer in middle against Dr. Repulsor. Uh, might be a little bit of a tough match up there unless he can get those hooks landed and weaken up that Dr. Repulsor, but that constant uh, just blinking and auto attack is slowly going to peck away at Devourer's HP. And given that he has no natural regen items, he's just going to have to rely on those consumables. But it uh, looks like top here, we've got Valkyrie and Pharaoh uh, going against this Swift Blade. Oh, and Valkyrie getting to get out of there really quick. Not wanting to eat too much of that damage from that Blade Frenzy. Uh, Pharaoh, though, is really actually a very good counter to Swift Blade, given that he has Wall of Mummies, which you can throw up in an instant, and as soon as Swift Blade comes forward and touches that, he's going to bounce back, he's going to get his mana drain, he's going to take some extra damage, and uh, it's just a bad, uh, bad combination against Swift Blade there, and also Pharaoh, in several of the matches I've cast, just really great at managing to save his teammates. Bottom, a little action going on here. Pandemonium trying to get some extra DPS going. This Hellbringer, he got the flick off, so his AC's lowered. Uh, but unfortunately, Hellbringer landing all of his spells on uh, Panda, lowering that magic resistance. And, uh, oh, yep. Now, I think Hellbringer's going to be okay there. He, it's just so long as he doesn't uh, put himself too far into harm's way. Like a little gutsy. Uh, they do have vision of the haste room bottom. Oh, and I ended up missing uh, Swift Blade going down there to the Pharaoh and Valkyrie combo. She is a little bit lower on mana. She used her uh, Javelin of Light not too terribly long ago. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I'm guessing that it was a Javelin of Light. Probably caught it for multiple seconds there. Just enough time to manage to take him down. So uh, that Pharaoh and Valkyrie combination already showing uh, that they've got a, a good payoff here early in the game. Plague Rider sitting dangerously low on hit points with no more regeneration items. Uh, he's getting something curried to him. Yep, got a couple of heal pods on his way. He's going to try and down those guys. Get a little bit healthier here for the next uh, fight that they get caught in. The tension's still pretty tight down here bottom. Uh, <laughs> Every hero seems to be at around half health. Unfortunately, uh, which they're going to come with that poison going to bring him right back down to uh, a little bit below half health, actually. Uh, looks like Plague Rider might be in a little bit. What are you doing, Pharaoh? Throwing that wall of mummies up way too early. Not going to be effective. They're not going to block off the Swift Blade from attempting to get on this Valkyrie. Uh, Valkyrie just going to run this Plague Rider down even after missing her arrow. Oh, that is one lucky Plague Rider if he makes it out of there. And Swift Blade uh, getting their attention off of his ally, but ultimately putting himself at low HP. And Pharaoh just waiting for that opportunity to launch that uh, Tormented Soul, maybe. Oh, it's got three, two, one. Will he be able to get it launched off here? There it goes. Oh, perfect. A perfect move from Swift Blade. Using his Blade Frenzy right as that missile came. He knew it was coming, so he Blade Frenzied right as it landed and managed to get the uh, damage prevented. Oh, uh, an exchange going on middle. I don't believe anyone else was involved in that fight in any way, so it just ultimately I think... Uh, huh. I'm not sure exactly how he managed to kill him without the other one being killed. Unless it was that... Uh, I haven't played Storm Spirit in so long. Um... Uh, it could have been his damage over time move that he has there, that he, where he leaves an after image. So it could have just been that taking magic damage uh, for their own demise. But I'm sorry I missed that thing there. I was still just a little flabbergasted by that perfect blade frenzy up top to prevent the uh, kill from Pharaoh. Just waiting for it to happen. Pharaoh probably would have been a little wiser to have hidden off in the woods there and then tried taking peeks, but. Again, then he might not have been able to have landed that uh, soul, so I think it went about as well as either one could have expected. Unfortunately, Swiftblade was on top of his game and got out of there. 
now we're seeing uh, Plague Rider back up here, full mana and relatively okay HP. Trying to defend this tower. Uh, a little bit of conflict going to go on in the woods here. Hellbringer and Witch Slayer bumping into each other. Witch Slayer stealing all of Hellbringer's mana. Panda coming in to turn around. <laughs> Just spook him off, I guess. Oh, but I keep missing that action there. I guess it doesn't take too much to take down uh, Dr. Repulsor, uh, given his limited hit points. But uh, man, landing another kill there. What is we have uh, two and one. Man, uh, he's currently leading the experience per minute and gold per minute. No huge uh, conundrum there, I suppose. Oh, what is this replay doing? Let's get rid of that guy. Sorry about that. Okay. We're still seeing a lot of uh, just individual lane battles here. Uh, Hellbringer getting the flick taken on him. Uh, he's got lowered AC. He's going to go down here. Yeah. We're not getting out of that. that. That pandemonium is just so powerful. That flick lowers the AC, and then all of the rest of his moves are all physical damage. And he also does a fair bit of uh, physical damage himself. So add it all together, and you're going to end up with one dead enemy hero. Especially when you've got the assist stun there coming from Witch Slayer to delay him just that much longer. Ooh, we've got a Hasted Devourer. Well, he has it in his bottle here. So we might end up seeing a rundown from Devourer. Sweetblade using his Blade Frenzy possibly to escape some uh, magic damage there. Stuns otherwise. Oh, we are going to see the rundown from Devourer here. He's got Dr. Rizor. He's going to get out of there using his haste to make sure he's in safe distance from that tower. Nice and gutsy play from man there. Sorry, one sec. i got to get a little drink of water. Okay, let's see how these guys up top are doing. Swiftblade not really doing that great. He's 0-1. Uh, he only has 22 free kills and 4 denies. I guess he is somewhat in the upper tier of the players there, but Kronos faring much better down here uh, against these uh, against Panda and <coughs> Witch Slayer. Oh, it looks like that ward has gone ahead and worn off there. They are able to pull these creeps now, uh, but of course, Hellbringer knowing that he had put that ward there probably knows what exactly is going on. Ducking back through the check, but his ally's not with him, so he's not going to go in as far as he probably needed to to spy on them and go ahead and get some damage off. But uh, probably a wise choice not to go in there and get on the wrong side of the map when you don't have that backup that you need. Swiftblade coming in with his blade. Oh, perfect move there from Pharaoh. Just as I was talking about it here earlier, that is what you need to do as Pharaoh when you're up against Swiftblade. Wait for those perfect opportunities to throw up that wall of mummies, to block him, drain his mana, and just basically ruin his whole plan. <laughs> oh, Dr. Repulsor off to the side here, hoping to be able to use his ultimate, I'm guessing, to get a little bit of a jump in here, get the uh, initiation possibly, and a grab. Gonna wait for these guys to go ahead and push past the river so he can come up from behind, get a good gank going. Uh, they are running in. He's gonna aim for Pharaoh. No, oh, and they are gonna successfully get him with the nuking from Plague Rider, and I don't think Swiftblade played too much of a part in that. But Devourer are going to come up here and try and uh, do a little bit of his own work. Oh, Valkyrie's going to get taken down by the attack there after leaping herself off into a pit. Uh, but Dr. Oh, stopping the Devourer all from landing, but still not able to juke that hook. Lots of action going on this game. This is certainly a good one to have picked. Hopefully it won't be too terribly one-sided. Right now it looks like it's a good exchange as far as zero kills. Panda going to be taken over possibly down here. He's taking a lot of poison damage. He's got to get out of here. Oh, nope. He's going to get taken down. That Hellbringer poison is just so deadly. Valkyrie coming in for the assist. Going to take down Hellbringer. Kronos has no mana. He's not going to be able to blink out her. He's just hoping to be able to get the Witch Slayer kill. Uh, knows he's not going to be able to accomplish that without taking down more damage, but he doesn't get out quick enough. Very unfortunate for him to have sat there and uh, just kept beating on that cr uh, on that Witch Slayer as long as he did. That was really a bad call in judgment to have stayed there. Uh, his teammate had already gone down. He wasn't doing enough damage to Witch Slayer. He should have just gotten out of there. He didn't have mana for a break. Devourer catching the hook here in the middle. Got that Dr. Repulsor. But Dr. Repulsor using his ultimate to jet away just in the nick of time. Going to down his bottle and eat some uh, trees there. Trying to replenish that health. Not going to take too much more for Devourer to go ahead and finish